Get full episodes of The Damage Report as a podcast on iTunes and Android, and you can watch the live show every weekday on YouTube TV. Donald Trump is very excited about the prospects of the wall. He uh, is a little bit worried that there's some misinformation being spread about it though. Uh, People have talked about how it would be this big ugly eyesore and he doesn't like that. And so he tweeted recently, uh, the Democrats are saying loud and clear that they do not want to build a concrete wall, but we are not building a concrete wall. We are building artistically designed steel slats so that you can easily see through it. It will be beautiful. And at the same time, give our country the security that our citizens deserve. It will go up fast and save us billions of dollars a month once completed. And I have to say that I am reassured by this because if you've been watching the show, you know that I've been advocating against the wall for a really long time. Yeah. It's, not the, it's not the wall or the xenophobia that I hate, it's concrete. I don't like concrete. And if it's artistically designed slats, Sounds pretty good. Looking at such a structure would, would be an eyesore because you know most Americans just travel down to the wall just like they travel down travel out to Mount Rushmore. Mm-hmm. Maybe they go see some national parks. You know, I'm gonna take the kids, put them in the car, drive down, and check out the southern border wall. Oh, it's ugly, son. <laughs> I wish they would have designed this better. Yeah, I don't look, I don't know what he is talking about there. Is he talking about like the bollards on top of the wall or something? He's describing what sounds to me like a gigantic, like a like a prison set of bars, basically. <laughs> that America is imprisoning itself behind this. If they're just steel slats, can't somebody just slip through it? It doesn't make any sense. And obviously, we don't care if it's steel slats, artistic or not. We don't care if it's locally sourced artisanal steel. <laughs> That's not what we're concerned about. The material is not the important thing. We're worried about more material things, like the fact that you're gonna build a wall for billions and billions of dollars. And then, of course, there's added lies on top of it that it's gonna save billions of dollars a month. There is no evidence in the world for. Not even for that proposition, but for anything that would lead a person to say something like that. There's nothing to that whatsoever. It will cost dozens of billions of dollars. That is what we know. Even this five billion that they're asking for in, in their wall funding package is nowhere near enough for the structure that he's proposing, that he has mm-hmm. no idea how much it's gonna cost or how it's gonna look. Someone should ask him directly. So when someone says something that's ridiculous, any politician or any anyone that has any kind of influence, just ask them. What does what an artistic metal slab look like? Mm-hmm. What are you envisioning, Donald? Mm-hmm. He's not envisioning anything, he's yeah. just talking. So if someone gets a chance, like they're artistic, is it a wave? What does it look like? Hey, tell that us, cool. is it, are there unicorns on top? Yeah. Are there pictures of, of, of heroes in the middle of it? What is it that makes it so beautiful mm-hmm. in your brain? Yeah, I don't know, and, and look, it is the holiday season, and so I'm trying to be a little bit more understanding towards people that disagree with me politically. So I would like to extend an olive branch to Trump supporters, because I do feel for them, because this has been a trying time for them mentally. They wanted a wall. For many people, that was one of the big reasons that they voted for Donald Trump. And right now, what is playing out in their brains is utter havoc. So they see that Donald Trump is asking for $5 billion, okay, to build the wall. And they hear day after day, that the, that the Democrats are stopping him from building the wall. Okay, so they have to hold in their brain, we need $5 billion to build the wall. But then we see tweets like this, Mexico is paying indirectly for the wall through the new USMCA, the replacement for NAFTA. Far more money coming to the US because of the tremendous dangers of the border, including large scale criminal and drug inflow, the United States military will build the wall. Okay, so I guess we don't need the $5 billion because Mexico is paying for the wall. Then you hear him say constantly that it's already built. Significant portions of it have already been built. So wait, do we desperately need to build the wall and the problem is the Democrats are blocking it? Or has most of it already been built? And there he's talking about there's so much large scale crime at the border. Wait, but but I, I got you elected to protect me. It's been two years. Wait, it's still hell at the border after all this? You just sent the military to the border and yet there's still chaos? What, is, what are they thinking after all of this? They think in five second intervals. Whatever it is he says, you glum onto it and be like, okay, that's the truth. Mm-hmm. Okay, next step, that's the truth. Okay, 25 minutes later, okay, that's the truth. There's no, there's no continuation of this thought process because he doesn't have one. Yeah. In order for you to follow him, you have to have the same approach, which is nothing. I do feel bad for them. I saw there was a contributor on Fox News recently who said that they should, that Republican, he wants it by the way, he wants the wall. He says lots of people want the wall, so we should crowdfund it. He says that every one of the 63 million people that voted for Donald Trump should donate $80 to the wall. And that would generate close 
to $5 billion, which of course would not get you anywhere near a wall on the border. But it would put a significant financial strain on literally every Trump household outside of the 1% or whatever. What a crazy, yeah, crazy all the Trump idea. Supporters, donate money for your wall and have make sure your name is etched in it. Put your face on the beautiful wavy wall mm -hmm. so that you can always be remembered for funding this. Yeah. You won't do it. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and uh, I saw uh, Ann Coulter says that if the wall isn't built, she's not voting for him in 2020. Oh. So maybe that'll, she'll drive many of her devoted fans to turn against him. What an utterly weird way to look at politics. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.